On the eve of their second American tour this year, the Sydney band In Excess shook off their jet lag after the long flight from Australia. If it is energy which sets apart the Australians from corporate cash register music, the players and their crew will need every ounce to survive the insane pace of the American rock business. The schedule for In Excess begins like this. A five-hour drive north to Fresno, California. Promote, perform, then drive back arriving in L.A. at 6 in the morning before another performance and another across America. Oh, got a little table. It's a beauty. Oh, got a little table for your convenience. <laughs> a table for my... There he is. 106 KKDJ Fresno is the station in the studio with me at this very minute. A couple guys from In Excess, Mike and Tim. Okay, what do you say we play a song from the LP? Shabu Shaba, which is your fourth, right? Yeah. Only number one in America. We were just talking about the best. The welcoming news at the Hacienda is that In Excess have sold out the 1,500-seat room in a part of America said to be listening to different music. Down under Australia, Echo Records present In Excess. If this is success in America, some of the band find it a little scary. I couldn't, I couldn't play because of the people in front of me. I mean, they just made it impossible. I had to get Neil to pull everything back. Well, These guys well, jumped up on stage. People's bodies. And they just hurled themselves in, yeah. on the audience. Body slams. And I mean, they just take Neil, giant leaps and it's like... I know. Well done. Some of the American women seem to be trying to do the same thing to you as well. Sure. Well, they're extremely willing, you know, to uh, th throw it all the clothing up when they get hot, put it up. <laughs> John, you were saying that, that really freaks you out about the American ones? Um, you're a little scared about it, seriously? It, just, just the fact that this is the first one of the tour. Uh, first gig that we've done by ourselves, you know, in the States. And to, uh, to walk out on stage and have a totally erratic audience who, like I was saying, you could play anything and it's just like, they're not even listening, you know, really, in a sense. They're just like, they're trying so hard to say that, you know, mm. Hundreds of thousands of Americans seem to want all they can get of In Excess. It's put their album on the charts, taught DJs how to say the name of the group properly, but apparently not told a lot of Americans that this is an Australian band. You think half of them probably don't even know you're from Australia? Yeah, I mean, really, exactly. We, 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 we went, is. Michael and I went down <laughs> to, meet, to meet a whole bunch of contest winners tonight from the local radio station that had won a chance to meet us, you know? And they were saying, oh, are you from South Africa? England? Austria? No, I didn't know where we were from. Europe? Yeah, it didn't Austria. matter, you know? Yeah, the majority of the audience might know we're Australian, but those who do think it's really... I, I love your accent, you know, can you talk a bit more sort of thing? It's like about as Australian as a Greek fisherman, mate. Eh? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the audience is going crazy because that's their role, and I think they've had that role since the Beatles. And the band will be given the role of the stars in America. They have something different. That doesn't mean there's much real interest in the country they've come from either among the fans at the rock concerts or among the moguls of New York and Hollywood.